Alright, we're gonna be checking out some more crazy animation stories. This channel's from actually happened. No joke, no scam, actually happened. A-C-T-U-A-L-L-Y-H-A-P-P-E-N-D-E-D, -E -E actually happened. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, this one's called I Poisoned My Boyfriend's Mother. Now she won't be an obstacle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's everyone just chill out. Let's chill out. You did what? Poisoned your hold on hold on where did you give this story then the, the jail and what does obstacle mean is this like some terrible crime love story right now this sounds like a netflix show right now she's like i had to remove her from the picture it was the only way i could spend some alone time with him but then i killed him too because he was getting kind of annoying not gonna lie <laughs> No, but seriously, that is a hit show right there. Netflix, do not steal that idea. I'm banking on that right now. All right, let's check this out. Hello, everyone. My name is Cassidy, and I'm 20. I bet it won't surprise anybody if I say that my relationship with my boyfriend's mother was complicated from the very beginning. This happens quite often, right? But what if I tell you that once she drove me so crazy I almost killed her? What the? Why she say that so normally? I almost killed her. Yeah. <laughs> Is that like something normal that you just say? Like, oh, I almost just killed her, by the way. It was a, not a big deal. Come on, guys. It happens all the time. You know, she kills me. You know, it's, it's all right. Jaden and I met each other a little more than a year ago at one of these fashion art parties. Who goes to a fashion art party? That's where you messed up. Not when you killed the grandma. That's all right. When you when you went to this party, that's where it all started. I don't know why you go in there in the first place. No normal person goes to an art party. What kind of... Why would you want to go to a party to look at art? He was with his girlfriend, but we kept locking eyes with each other the whole night. At some point, we accidentally met in front of one of the pictures and chatted for a second. Accidentally, my ass? Like, you already cheating? This dude cheating without no hesitation at the party. That's why I'm telling you guys not to go to an art party. Actually, I don't want to diss on art parties because I've never been on one. So, I mean, I don't know. if Are they good? I don't know. But, like, this is not good. That's, I know that for a fact. And when I mentioned that I was a beginner artist... He got interested in my work. Nah, nah, nah. Let's just be real here. He don't care about your artwork. He don't care about your art. I think he was more interested in something else, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that thick ass. <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. I got to stop. So I gave him the address of my studio apartment. Oh, shoot. He already got the apartment address. And this dude picking up girls while he's with his own girl. This guy must be stopped. She don't even care that he's kind of cheating on his own girl. Like, she's like, I... I'm a fuck with you. I'm a fuck with you. Right, bro. By the way, that dude that said I'm a fuck, I right, I'm a fuck with you. He kind of famous now though. Like, look at this. What the fuck? <laughs> He said one line, and now these girls want pictures. It's like that. And uh, long story short, he moved in with me. Apparently having left his girlfriend before that. For almost a year, our life together was great until he started saying that his poor mom, who was back home in England and who he hasn't seen for a long time, was missing him badly. I'd heard many nice things from Jaden about his mom, and I sort of already loved her and wanted to meet her. Besides, meeting parents usually means... Tra la la la, an impending wedding! Alright, this girl needs to chill out a wedding? You barely even know the guy, it's been like a year. I mean, I guess that's enough time, but like, the mother, she's going to decide it. And judging by the title that you poisoned her, I don't think this wedding's gonna go through now. So, I somehow said that she should stay with us to avoid spending extra on a hotel, and that made Jaden walk on air. As soon as Mrs. Evans took her first step inside our apartment, she began critiquing virtually every inch of it. She didn't like the couch that we bought especially for her, nor did she like the window drapes, which, according to her, should have been more transparent to let the sunlight in. But what's worse is that she didn't like me. She said that I was wearing odd and outdated clothing. Old fashioned? Does she not see what she's wearing? She looks like she could be George Washington's mom. She got something off from like the 1700s. I don't even know where she got that from. Where do you still buy these clothes? They don't sell them at Walmart. Actually, I have seen them at the Halloween costume store, but I don't think she's buying her normal clothes at the Halloween store. I mean, if she did, that would be kind of sick though. Like one day she's a zombie and then the next day she's a slutty cat. Like that would be awesome. She found flaws in virtually everything. 
every dish that I cooked and snatched every opportunity to talk about them out loud. Honey, you should never put beans in this salad. Oh, and please, use less salt. All of her comments totally freaked me out, but of course I couldn't say anything. He came up with a sudden decision to send the two of us to a fancy restaurant to get to know each other better. Even before we got the appetizers, Jaden's mom decided to seize the bull by the horns. That's when she finally told me how much I didn't fit into their family. And then she left the table, as if nothing special had happened, and went to the ladies' room, while I was just sitting there with the feeling that I'd been dragged through the mud. In theory, I should probably stand up and leave, but I don't know. It was as if something rooted me to that spot. I had so much to say to her, but I was so afraid to lose Jaden. When I was thinking over how to better react to Mrs. Evans once she got back to the table. Better react? And you're thinking of guns and nukes? That's how you better react? Like she gets so mad, she just pulls out her gun and just starts robbing her? And why she's smiling at the nuke? She's like, nah, not the gun. Forget the knife, the nuke. There we go, baby. We gonna bomb her whole life and the store and myself up. I don't care. A waiter came up with a signature salad and said something about the pomegranate dressing that they put on it. A barely distinctive thought flashed through my mind for a split second. Jaden mentioned in passing that his mother was allergic to pomegranates. But I was still under the effect of her latest words about me, so I don't know why, but I didn't say anything to the waiter. This girl really about to kill her old mom over some words. Jeez, what did she say? Was it that mean? Wait, she's mean, old, and allergic to pomegranates. I feel like I've seen this somewhere else. No pomegranates! No way, bro. That was her? No, 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 no pomegranates! No! I don't want them anywhere near here. Am I clear? But what happened in the next couple of minutes was the most horrible thing I've ever experienced. Mrs. Evans began choking and fell to the floor, pulling the tablecloth from the table with her. I got so scared, and I had a single thought in my head. What have I done? Yeah, you're thinking about that now? I mean, she told you she had a pomegranate issue. No pomegranates! Now you feel bad after she's like almost about to die? She's choking on the ground, now you're just like, eh, maybe that was not a good idea. Maybe I should not have let her eat some pomegranate. Like, did you not hear it enough? She literally screams it. No! I rushed to her purse because I knew that she always carried some kind of special injection with her, just in case. All this turmoil took place in just a couple of minutes, but it seemed to me that an eternity had passed. We were already in the ambulance on our way to the hospital when I was dialing Jaden's number with my trembling fingers. But right when Jaden entered the room, she woke up and began sobbing and saying how she was afraid that she had almost died. That made Jaden even more worried than he already was. I must confess, I couldn't find the strength to tell him the truth, and I decided to blame the poor waiter for everything and pretended that he didn't tell me about that dressing in the salad. Jaden got so angry with him, but I somehow convinced him to not go down to the restaurant, to not arrange some kind of drama down there. You know, this is all fun and games until he watches this video, and then it's over. He coming for you, forget the waiter, he coming for you now because actually happened, decided to expose this girl. So, once he watches this video, this relationship is 100% over. Actually, she kind of exposed herself, like why would you go on this story time channel talking about I almost murdered my grandma? This was not a good call cover up like this was not this was not a good plan because you might be in jail like right after this video comes out thank god his mother was discharged on the same day and judging by the way she behaved at home at dinner not only did her appetite return to her suspiciously fast but also her immense hostility towards me during the whole week after the accident she demanded that we bring her anything she wanted because she claimed that it was hard for her to leave the bed jeez bro you almost killed the grandma and now you're mocking her oh it was hard to leave the bed you almost killed her what do you mean i mean it's gonna be a little hard when you got like an allergic reaction the other day almost got she almost died by a salad and she's over here like 
oh my god she's so whiny she can't leave the bed like do you not feel bad that you sent her to the hospital like damn these girls will do anything to get with the guy like she she's like out here like cheating on his girlfriend leaving the girlfriend choking the grandma out it's like all for one dude is he really all that once i returned home from the market and heard her talking on her cell phone at first i decided that it was Jaden on the phone with her but soon I realized the conversation was a, a more loving nature. Aha. Uh -huh. She was on the phone with a man and this was going to become my joker. Oh, you should have seen how her jaw dropped as soon as she saw me staring at her. When Jaden asked what was new during the day, Mrs. Evans tensed and gazed at me as if she was begging me to not tell Jaden anything. I was not going to do it anyway. But that sweet feeling of superiority once again filled me from the inside. All right, that's kind of weird. She likes feeling superior than some old mom. Now I'm actually getting kind of worried for my life. So like, um, please, if you're that, that girl in this uh, story that's narrating this, I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything. Um, This is all jokes. So please do not find me. I love pomegranates, so you can't get me there. You could probably get me with a nuke. That will definitely work. But please... Um, just please don't hurt me, Mom, please. The next day, Mrs. Evans bought herself a ticket back to England. She convinced Jaden that she already felt much better after that allergy incident. She and I never discussed that phone call. I guess both of us understood each other without any words. Maybe we are not as different as I thought we were. And that was it? What was I supposed to learn from this fake-ass story? Like, am I supposed to choke some grandmas out? Am I supposed to go cheat on my girl? Or, like, what, what is going on here? I, j I just can't, man. Like, these animation stories are, like, from another world. They're not from here. So I think I'm done with these animation stories. But if you want to see more, let me know in the comments. You already know. And um, uh, I'm going to end the video here. So um, thanks for watching and making it to the end. And um, see ya.